I hate being in the middle of a project and having to stop just to wind yarn to make a pull skein. Let me show you an easier way. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Sandy Marie and I'm a crochet fiber artist. My personal focus is on tapestry crochet. My goal with these videos is to inspire the artist in each of you and to teach tips and techniques to help you get there. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make a pole skein from a ball of yarn. If you're new here, you might want to think about subscribing and click the bell if you want notifications. So let's head into my studio and get started. Welcome to my video area in my studio. I love using pull skeins, but not all yarn is wound that way. Now I'm sure that if you've watched any of my other videos, you're going to know exactly how much I love Knit Picks cotton. And the color choices are just absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave a link in the notes below this video so that you can go over and take a look at all of the beautiful colors that they offer. But the only thing wrong with Knit Picks cotton, guess what? It's not a pole skein. So I'm going to show you how. Let's make one. The first thing that you need to do with this is you need to look at the label and you need to look at it so that it's actually facing you. You can read it. The side that you're going to actually dig down through is the side that's above the actual label. First thing you have to do is take the label off and keep track of what side was up. You turn the ball so the side is up. Now what you're going to do, this is actually very simple, you're going to start on the outside and you're just going to start unwinding it a little bit, separating it. You're just going to go around in a corner, round and around and around, really, really easy, until you start getting to the center here. You still are going to go around to make sure that you're getting it you need to go into the center of the yarn. Okay, I am pretty much at the center right here. Now sometimes you get really, really lucky and you can actually see that first strand. And sometimes not. Just dig down in a little bit. When you know you're at the exact center, then go ahead and pick up a little bit of the yarn and pull. Pick up a little bit and pull. Make sure you're staying at the center. Pick up a little bit more and pull. Now sometimes this just goes really, really super fast and easy. Okay, now you can see here that I'm actually pulling up the center, so I'm going to open that up, pull a little bit more. Pretty soon I'm going to find that end. Oh, there we go. Let me move my mat back over here. So now, you want to untangle this little part here to make sure that you're going to find the actual center. This is actually kind of a more difficult one, so <laughs> I'm glad this happened because you can see. So here's my actual center here. Hold your hands, roll the yarn back up, just roll it like this so you're bringing it all back together. Then go ahead, put your label back on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
This is the hardest part for me. <laughs> Put the label back on so that you can make sure that you're using the, the right yarn for a particular project. I know for me, swan, which is what this is, kind of a cream color, and white can tend to look a little bit close together. So if I have the label on, I know exactly what color I'm using. Now with all of this here, just take a moment, wind it together. Wind it on the outside. I wind very, very loose out here because this is the only part of the yarn that I'm actually going to be using from the outside. And tangles. You know when you run into tangles like this, don't pull tight. If you pull tight, what ends up happening is that you end up uh, actually making knots. But if you just leave it kind of loose, hey, this is an extra, extra, extra little thing that you can learn here. <laughs> uh, none of this ever bothers me. You know, I love crochet so much that I will go through and do this sort of thing with a joyful heart, actually because I know in a few minutes I'm going to be crocheting and I'm going to be crocheting with a pull skein so that makes me happy. They're almost done. So that was actually a lot more that came out of the center than what usually happens. And I am going to tell you honestly, about 50% of the time you're going to be able to go in, find that loose end, pull it out, and just get started. The other 50% of the time you're going to end up like this where you have to wind a little bit of it. Now let me just show you here real quick. We have actually made a pull skein. So once you've used this yarn here you're going to be able to just pull on this end here as you're crocheting. It's actually wonderfully simple. Now up until I learned how to do this, I used to wind all of my yarn before I got started. Well, hopefully all of my yarn. Sometimes I miscounted skeins. So I hope this little tutorial helps you. It is a wonderful tip, very easy, and you know that didn't take very much time at all. So if you did miscount and you have to make a pull skein out of the next ball of yarn, you know that you're not going to spend a whole bunch of time setting up a machine just to wind another ball of yarn. You can simply find the center, pull it out, and get started with your next project. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a ball of yarn into a pull skein. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up like button and don't forget to subscribe. To get notifications, click the bell that's next to the subscribe button. Take a moment and read the notes below. There's a lot of good information in there. And as promised, you'll find the link to Knit Picks Cotton. Also, there is a chat just below. I'd like to know if you've ever done this or if this is something new for you. Now I'll see you next Tuesday. Until then, make it an awesome week.